Uh, Dorset, talk us through exactly what happened. We've obviously heard numerous different accounts from, from various different parties here. What are you hearing from the Iranians? Well, according to um, army officials as well as uh, state TV, uh, three uh, small unidentifiable objects uh, were shot down near the um, Iranian army's airbase uh, just northeast of the city of Esfahan within Esfahan province. Now, uh, this is known as the 8th Tactical Air Base, which is home to Iran's fleet of American F-14 Tomcats, which Iran purchased before the 1979 revolution. Now, we've been hearing from a uh, army commander, uh, Abdul Rahim Musavi, who, speaking to local media, has said that there were shots fired at some flying objects, and there was no damage caused to this airbase. Uh, but when he was asked whether or not this will uh, incite a response by the Iranians, he said that you have seen Iran's response already, indicating that this uh, attack, most likely by Israel, could be, for now, the end of this back and forth uh, threats and counter threats that have been made by Iranian officials as well as their Israeli counterparts. Mm. Uh, Dorsa, I see that the IAEA has confirmed now what the Iranians were saying there, that there has been no damage to nuclear facilities? That's right. Uh, you have to remember, there is a nuclear facility within Isfahan itself, as well as nearby Natanz. That's uh, one of the main uh, nuclear facilities in the country, uh, one of six. Natanz is where enrichment happens at 60 percent, as well as 20 percent. It's a very big facility and one of the main ones. We heard from the International Atomic Energy Agency in Vienna. They um, had a statement by the director general, Rafael Grossi, saying that the agency can confirm there is no damage to Iran's nuclear sites, and that the director general continues to call for extreme restraint from everyone and reiterates that nuclear facilities should never be a target in military conflicts. Uh, the statement also went on to say that the IEA is monitoring the situation very closely. Of course, the agency decided on Sunday to suspend its monitoring activities for two days as a result of Iran's uh, attack on Israel uh, that took place on Saturday evening, early Sunday morning. The Iranians have said that they are responding to aggression by Israel after the consulate section of Iran's embassy in Damascus was uh, targeted in an airstrike on April 1st that killed seven members of its Revolutionary Guards. Dorsa Jabari there with the very latest for us on this developing story from Tehran. Thank you very much, Dorsa.